This is my Mongoose Kevin Peraza La Familia custom BMX bike. And this is the Mongoose Legion L100. This is a complete bike. Today, we're gonna to be going through these two bikes and we're gonna be figuring out exactly what makes the pro bike a pro bike, a complete bike, a complete bike. Maddie's gonna be riding both of them. And we're gonna be talking about the differences. So let's get straight into it. So we're gonna start off by going over these two bikes in detail, talking about the physical no. traits of these bikes, the differences, the things oh, yeah. that are in common with them. And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna start with Maddie's custom bike. So this base right here is a Mongoose La Familia. This is the X Games three times gold medalist Kevin Peraza's signature frame. Now this bike has a 20.75 top tube, a 13 inch chainstay, 75.5 degree head tube, heat treated double butted 41 130 chromoly tubing with internal gussets and this bike weighs 25.4 pounds but this is completely custom everything on this bike was chosen to be put on there by maddie specifically for him everything from this dirty white seat to these tires that are on it like seriously from top to bottom except for that sprocket actually he stole that from me um, but if you look at the pedals look at their metal pedals they got a bunch of pins on them they're very very grippy but one thing that maddie put on here is a bunch of different titanium parts on it and this bike right here costs about $2,200 when we add it all together which is pretty crazy now moving on to the mongoose legion l100 now this bike has a 100 percent 4130 frame fork and handlebar so that means it's got really good metal to keep this thing nice and strong now this bike also has a set of aluminum double wall rims on it and there's sealed bearings all the way throughout this bike now i'm going to quickly go over a couple of the dimensions this bike has a 21 inch top tube so that means it's longer than maddie's bike as a 13.7 inch chainstay so that means it's longer back end than maddie's Maddie's bike and it also has a 75 degree head tube which is a little bit mellower than Maddie's bike now this bike has a lot of great parts on it all the way down to the two-piece tubular chromoly hollow spindle cranks but you can see the pedals are different these are just regular plastic pedals that would just come on any bikes this bike also comes with a 25 9 gearing so it's actually three teeth smaller than the gear set that Maddie has on his bike it has huge tires on it which are big beefy 2.4s on it and this bike weighs in at 27.4 pounds so exactly two pounds heavier than maddie's bike and the best part about it is that this bike only costs 483 dollars and 57 cents that is just crazy to me that you can get a bike that has so many high quality parts on it for a very reasonable price and you can buy it as is so now it's time to ride both these bikes and now the game plan for this is to really show how good this bike actually is and it's not even just the fact that it has high quality parts on it which we just went over but how it rides compared to the bike that maddie rides every single day so so I chose five different tricks that Maddie is going to be tested on for both of these bikes and we're going to show you how many tries it takes on each of them. So this is going to be a true comparison right here. The first one we're going to be doing straight away is going to be a high air on this hip. I want Maddie to do a tabletop air over that hip at height. It's got to look really good on both bikes or else. So here we go. Let's get this started. Oh crap. <laughs> that was one air on the regular bike. Ooh, attempt number two, he's got it. Looks good. Swapping on over to the Legion right now. We're gonna get a live shot. He's just gonna go straight in for this trick. No, warm no up. warming up, no changing, because it is a different bike. We've gone over that already. This one's 21 inch top tube compared to Maddie's. That's like a what, 20.7? 20.7, yeah, flat, 20.7 flat. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. Ooh, that was really nice. It was first try. Do you think the bigger top tube has anything to do with that? So the bigger top tube feels better for like control, Ooh. like air control, I feel like. Yeah. Like uh, It's got more room to operate. 1,000%. One, 1, like I just feel like you can maneuver it. Like definitely feels slower, mm -hmm. but the table feels open. That was a really good table. Like it feels like you're like That stretched. was one of the best table tabs I've seen you do, I think. So well, I appreciate that. <laughs> that was good. I just picture it like compared to like a little bike, it yeah. feels like you don't get that, that leverage. But the big bike gives you like that wide open feeling. Yeah, there's no doubt about Dirt it. Dirt bike feeling. Cool, let's move on to the next one. So the next trick that we're gonna be doing is actually in this bowl as well. We came up with doing a bar spin to foot jam nose pick. I know Maddie rides front brakes on his other bike, but he won't be using them on this trick. It's strictly to foot jam nose pick. Are you gonna start off on that one or are you gonna go back to the uh, regular bike? No, I should probably do the real bike first. Okay. All right, <laughs> here we go, let's get it. Okay, on a different bike. 
close. Second try, once again, on the custom. Woo! Yeah, live swap right now. Switching over to the Mongoose Legion L100. Oh, this one doesn't have a gyro, so you can see he just had to spin the cable around. And uncut bars. <laughs> and uncut bars. Ooh, that's a good point. All right, not too far off. He's almost in the same situation. Oh, okay. He's got momentum back on the custom side. Oh, he did get it on the third try though. That was good. For uncut bars jumping right on, I feel like. Yeah, that's a that's a big difference. That's what goes to show and the custom. That's gonna be the main thing about today's video is showing that a custom bike is custom to what you like. I, I think going along with that is the biggest thing for me about going from this bike to my bike too is tire size and tires. True. This is a 60 PSI max tire and it's also like a 2.8. <laughs> Could it, be, look, no. it looks like it honestly. No, it's, it's, a, it's big a big tire. This is 2.4. 2.4, yeah. So I ride a 2.1 It's a big on that bike. Really big difference. And those are 100 PSI tires. Yeah. So the difference in the air pressure, this is way squishier, way bigger tire, like and the the way that the it rotational, spins, it's yeah, way heavier, with like bar spins. That's a, that's the biggest difference is like if I were to get this bike, first thing I would do is swap tires and then the bike would be like it would feel more me. like you it would feel bike. like a normal bike for me. It would be just like that. I right, would tell well, no speaking difference. Speaking of, you know, tires and air pressure, I think we should move on to the next trick. What is it? So while we're in the topic of tires and air pressure, the next trick we're going to be doing is a 360 down the stair set over there. So this is the flat. So we're going to see which bike feels better for him. And I think they're both going to be first try. I hope for him. But <laughs> yeah, let's go set up and film this. Okay, so let's see my distance. He's trying to figure out the distance, how fast he has to go to clear this gap. His goal is to land pretty much at the corner of everything. Hey. There we go. Woo wee! Okay, straight to the green bike. Yeah. What do you What are you nervous about for the next? This one? one's got a, the. It's a longer bike. It's a longer top tube on it. Mm -hmm. um, so, the first initial pull. It's not gonna be a snappy. Yeah, I would do a couple bunny hops yeah. real quick. Yeah, so used like, to it. you don't want to go to pole and then get bucked like yeah, a different direction. Definitely don't so want to do that. That's gonna be a scary one. All right, well, let's do it. Fluffy tires are gonna help. <laughs> the L100 is about to go for the L60. Okay, here we go. This is this is a very interesting one right here. As like a bike nerd, I'm very curious to see how this one works. Dude, that one was smoother than the other one for sure. That one I had a better spin for, you I did. don't know. That I couldn't weird. tell you why. Weird. But for some reason I did spin a little bit better. That's crazy. Like farther. Wow. I mean, it felt really controlled. The tires, those things were like trampolines when you landed. Oh, it felt perfect. It felt like I was riding your full suspension. <laughs> That's awesome. It felt easy, yeah. I right. re I'm surprised in what just happened. I'm very impressed. <laughs> wow, weird. The bike sounded great, man. <laughs> your bike sounded like it went through way more abuse than Nail 100 did. So the next trick that we're doing on this test is the tail whip, but it's not just going to be one tail whip. It's going to be tail both ways. So regular whip, switch whip, up this ledge to flat. Maddie's done it before on this bike, so he should have a little bit of practice on that one, but I don't know if it'll make a difference or not. We'll find out. That bike's going to be weird to tail it, man. Any bike that's different than yours is weird to tail yeah. it. So this is going to be a big one. We got both cameras set up. Let's do it. Oh, the regular whip. Dude, going back to this one right after feels. And he's got like very, very intense metal pedals on this bike too, compared to the Legion that has plastic pedals on I it. I think coming back to a little bit of a shorter bike Sneaking now feels, feels wow. a little funny. Okay, good luck. Okay, back to the single whip, wow. or regular whip again. Oh, way better that time. Okay, now I'm used to it. All right, straight to the switch whip. Going right in the switch whip? Yep. Let's do it. Oh, no! <laughs> it's getting to me now. I think it is. Ah. That's a mess up on both. For regular so this and switch. This will be second try for, for both of them. Both whips, wow. Then I have to change bikes. Yep. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, that was, that was even worse. Now I'm getting nervous about the green bike. Oh man, this is not good. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
Third Whoa. try, he's got it. <laughs> oh man, he is stressing right Yeesh. now. I can tell. Oh, this is getting scary, Scott. All right, well, at least you get to start out with a regular one. Oh, thank goodness. At the very least. The L100. You got to beat a second try and a third try. Second try or and fourth a try. fourth try. Fourth try. Oh, wow. So you need to get at least... I got a lot of room to land this so in, huh? Yeah, you do. Got plenty of room. And that was a regular bike. This is... This is not good. <laughs> This is crazy. This, this could possibly make the L100 look really good. It could. The first attempt. That was beautiful on that bike. That was really It makes really me feel beautiful. oddly good for the switch rip, but now I'm like... Just go. Don't now, even think about it. Don't even talk. Here it is. We're going to find out right now. Oh, it came around, but it looked like a little slow-ish. But it came around I the did, right I did the same delayed thing I did on my other bike, okay. but if confidence is, is there though, okay, I feel okay. Right. Let's do it. Try number two. Oh my goodness, Matt. Second try and second try. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm not really sure. It's, I don't, shouldn't say anything at all. There's nothing to say. Let's not even I shouldn't say it. anything at all. <laughs> all right. Whoa. So, that was great. I'm glad that you did it. I'm, I'm shocked that you did it in less tries than on your regular bike. That makes That's no sense. Crazy to me. Yep. Um, but we've got to move on to the next trick. The fifth and final trick is going to be a flare in this bowl corner off of this six foot extension right here. Maddie's not good at doing flares, like at pretty much anything under six foot. This is six foot, but it's a bowl corner. We're going to find out if he can get it on either of the bikes right now and how many tries he's going to take. So let's get inside the bowl. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's do it. His first flare at Benita. That's cool. Let's see if you can get this one first try. Hope so. Nice, Matt. Good for you. That was great. Hot lap right onto the Legion. Here he goes. <laughs> so, this is a complete bike. The price is listed right here. That's not a lot of money for a BMX bike. Can he get a flare first try, which is a difficult trick for him. Oh my, that was even better than the- I'm custom. not saying anything. I'm That's not insane. saying one thing. End the video. I don't even know what to do Cut with this the one. clip. That one just rotated better. I don't it know did. why. Wow. There's a lot of explaining that needs to happen from I you. need to go to the design team. I think I need to talk to head of, head of design at Mongoose and uh, try and understand something here. What did they put in that frame? I don't know. Or what did they put in this bike that makes it... I honestly don't know. It's doing things know. that I didn't expect. So I was really nervous for that flare. And that one could have been the, the easiest rotated one I've done. <laughs> it was insane. I don't know why. I really don't know. I'm like a little bit baffled. So the truth is, we just saw two really good bikes ridden by one really good BMX rider. But what we wanted to show you today was that maybe the custom and the complete aren't that far off. And after seeing the results right here, I really don't know fully how to explain this. I'm going over it in my head, trying to figure this out. As a lifelong BMX rider, it just makes sense that the bike that is custom to Maddie, everything that he wanted on it, should have been the easier bike on every test that he's done. Did he feel more comfortable on it? Probably, but the truth is, he kind of rode this bike better today, and that's really insane. It's messing with his head really bad. I guess the big takeaway from this is showing you how awesome complete bikes are in BMX now. Because like when I was a kid, complete bikes were just heavy, they were junky, but now the bikes are so good. They look awesome, they ride really well, and they're strong. They're made out of great materials. So I guess my final thoughts are, is that it's a really good time to be buying a BMX bike because you are definitely getting your money's worth. I can promise you that. So yeah, if you're gonna go get a complete bike, you get one of the top of the line ones you are going to get a really good bike that is fully capable and if you want to get this mongoose l100 which i think maddie's going to be getting this mongoose l100 very soon i don't know we're gonna to have to look into this we're gonna to have to do a little bit more research and come out with a better reason why maddie was better on this bike today because i really don't understand it so that's it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time peace